A uh, couple of first things I'm going to do is just kind of give away some points here for you. So one of the questions here says the quotient of blank is negative 1. For example, x minus 3 over 3 minus x equals negative 1. So the answer there is opposites. And let me give you an example of something like that. If you were to factor x squared minus 2x minus 8, then you'd get x minus 4, x plus 2. And then how about the denominator? How does that factor? A lot of people would want to say x minus 4 and x plus 4. That's not quite right. It'd be 4 minus x and 4 plus x. So these things, oh boy, they look really, really close. And that's the point of this problem is that these are opposites. So you can cancel these. Nothing wrong with canceling them, but you get a negative 1 when you cancel it. So what you'd be left with is negative of x plus 2 over 4 plus x. Now you can distribute and write negative x minus 2 over x plus 4 if you want. It doesn't matter. Web assign should take either one. I will take either one. So good on those. Uh, example C here. Well, actually, I think there's another giveaway points that I want, want to do here. Uh, example B says to build a rational expression. So that's the word that they're looking for there. To build a rational expression, you multiply by, you know, a number over itself. Now, I had a question earlier about, well, well, when do you multiply by a number over itself, and when do you multiply by just the number in the numerator? If you're trying to build a rational expression, you can only multiply by one. So that's when you can multiply by a number over itself or an expression over itself. And we're going to do that here in example C. The LCD for this is going to be x squared and then y, x squared and then y. So I'm okay here, but over here, what am I missing? What am I missing here that I have in part of my denominator? I'm missing an, yeah, an x squared. So, so what do I have to multiply by to get that x squared? Just an x, thank you. So multiply by x over x. Now this is effectively multiplying by 1, so I'm not changing the value of my expression, but it's going to look different. That's okay. So I get x squared plus 5x over x squared y. Over here, I've already got common denominators, so now I can subtract the numerators. If you take the time to do the escape room that I plugged into, or I gave you a link on desire to learn, here's a kind of a key point. When you're subtracting things like this, we've already got common denominators. If you did this, x squared minus, or x squared plus 5x minus x minus 14, you're destined for failure. Why? Yeah. Is that Cosmo? Yeah, good job. You got to distribute the negative sign to both of those. So what you really should write is x squared plus 5x minus x plus 14 over your x squared y. And then you can get common, you know, then you can clean this up. Um, 5x minus x. The numerator should be x squared plus 4x plus 14. So that numerator with this denominator. Yay. Let's keep going, a couple more. Kind of a quick one. Example D, they ask you to simplify this and talk about the domain. So in simplifying this, first thing I'll do is I'll factor that, and that's a one here. So x squared plus 2x minus 15, x plus 5, x minus 3. How about the denominator? That's the difference of squares, x plus 3, x minus 3. So the simplification is pretty straightforward. You can get rid of both of those. However, when you're looking for the restrictions, the domain, the one thing that you can't do is divide by 0. So that's going to happen when either x minus 3 or x plus 3 equals 0. One of these things has to equal 0. When does x minus 3 equal 0? what value of x would make the 0? 3. And over here, negative 3. So your domain is everything 
uh, but 3 or negative 3. Now, you probably have to write that in interval notation. So basically, you want to skip negative 3 and skip 3. So it would look like this, negative infinity to negative 3, negative 3 to 3, and 3 to infinity. That's most likely how you're going to have to enter that one. Two more quick ones. Well, maybe not entirely quick. But this is getting to that question again earlier. When do I multiply by something over itself? When do I just multiply by something in the numerator? The difference with example E here is that I've got an equation. And now a lot of people look at this and go, ugh, blah, fractions, yuck, I don't like them. With an equation, you can get rid of the fractions. And that's when we're going to just multiply by something in the numerator. We're not going to multiply by something in the denominator and the numerator because that's multiplying by a 1. I want to get rid of them. So here's where I'm going to multiply everything through by the LCD. Now, to determine the LCD, you're going to factor. And so let's take a look at the terms I need as part of my LCD. I have a 5 and a 2, so a 2 times a 5, and then a b minus 7. So in other words, 10 times b minus 7. That's my LCD. So I'll multiply everything through by that LCD. So let me do it this way. 10 times b minus 7. 10 times b minus 7. And 10 times b minus 7. Notice I'm just multiplying the numerators. The reason I can do that is because effectively I'm multiplying both sides of the equation by that LCD. This is going to get rid of the denominators. So let's see that that's true. 5 cancels into 10 twice. That'll leave me with 2 times b times b minus 7. 2 times b times b minus 7. Over here, the b minus 7 cancels. 2 cancels into 10 5 times, so I'm left with 5 times b minus 11. And then here, the 2 cancels there, so I'm left with 5 times b minus 7. And then we can distribute. That's a b, so it's 2b squared minus 14b equals 5b minus 55 minus 5b again plus 35. So then you get to collect like terms. Um, you end up with 2b squared minus 14b equals 35. Is that right? So, oh no, how about, how about minus 20? Because these can add, there we go. Uh, when I bring that to the other side, 2b squared minus 14b plus 20 equals 0. In terms of factoring this, I would factor out the 2 first. b minus 7b plus 10 equals 0. You can ignore the 2. Just ignore that 2 and factor and solve. So it's going to be 2 times b minus 2 times b minus 5 equals 0. Ignore that. b equals 2 or b equals 5. Those are your answers. So, last one. So, kind of our lightning round of some bonus problems. When you divide by a fraction, what's the trick? Multiply by the reciprocal. So, it's 6x over y times the reciprocal of this, which puts your y squared up here. What I would do is just kind of Cancel everything. Y goes into Y once. It's going to leave a Y up here. The X's cancel. 3 goes into 6 twice, and 3 goes into 9 three times. Uh, and I'm still left with a Y here. Now, you don't have to get everything in one go. If you said, all right, well, I'm left with a 2y here and then a 3y here, that's fine. But hopefully you would finish it up by canceling the rest of the way. So, nice. Awesome.
There's an escape room on D2L. If you wanted to give that a shot, it covers a couple of quick questions here. Uh, if not, then good luck.